decided we had something exciting to share with you guys a few days ago and the news is we bought a new house we did it we, we did. did it yeah it's we've had it 30 days later it's bought yep we put it in the amazon cart and 30 <laughs> days prime later it worked yep hashtag we did not buy this on amazon we did not no. so we are going to show you guys a full house tour today, show you all of the befores for the next few months. We have a lot of really fun things happening. So we're gonna go back and forth and kind of share some of our ideas and show you guys all of the space. Okay, you're on camera. Rolling. We're rolling. Right. Two more houses coming to you live. So listen, out here we've got a little uh, roundabout driveway, which is kind of neat, but uh, what's real about this place we're going to piggyback on some things we did at our other house which is do a courtyard eventually create a more public family space out here but also some privacy um, yeah i think we're gonna instead of doing our shorter courtyard at the other house we're gonna do something taller and really make this a very private space we'll see you know depending on what big brother hoa allows <laughs> so at the end of the day we'll do some stuff out front not a super high priority eventually or right now but eventually we'll we'll get to that We've got some more inside projects and we want to do first. And if you the front door, we'll probably eventually upgrade that to something a little more our style. Because again, one of the things we're doing here is taking a nice style that has some builder grade elements, but, you know, broad-marizing it. So that's essentially what you're going to see here as we prepare this place to move into. So let's look at those front doors. So the, the front doors, they are beautiful already. We're thinking about maybe possibly painting them but or changing them out altogether. So we'll see what we come up with. Maybe we do it in stages, but um, you guys ready to go in? So this is the entryway. You guys know entryways are one of my favorite places. So maybe something up in the ceiling, a kind of a wood treatment, but I think once we change out these doors or draw a little change to it, this whole space will change a little bit. But so right here we have barn doors, really nice, but not exactly the Bromore House style. So I, I'm thinking since this is my office, we're not going to actually put a door on there. So we'll have to see on that. But come in my office. As you guys can see, a lot of the spaces around this house, very white. And although we love white, for this house, we're envisioning a little bit more of a different moody um, style. So in here we have these big built-in shelves, very white, no gold hardware, which has to be changed. So we're thinking about painting, adding some um, some stones, and then of course a big Broadmoor House logo there. And then I think we might add some trim on the walls and then paint it all dark and maybe like a dark moody ceiling. And then then show them the ceiling fan. You guys know the ceiling fan is just not going to be my office lighting, so I'm really wanting to do something like really fun and big there. So we'll see what we'll see what we come up with there. But if you come out here, we have our main area. Um, I think I'm going to let Ben explain what we're going to do with this wall here. So as Stephanie mentioned, we're going to do something on this wall here. We got some nice French doors. Uh, this wasn't even the previous owner's original plan with this wall, but we've kind of got some grand visions to dress up again the style a little more modern. And so you're going to follow us on a journey to evaluate what we're going to do, both structurally, uh, budget-wise. But some of the things we want to do, ideally, is we'll figure out that we can take these doors out, maybe even the transoms as well, and do some nice big, maybe arched windows. Maybe they're arched, maybe they're not, but they're more of the steel glass style that looks pretty good. We're debating right now on if we're gonna keep it square or we're gonna do arched. I'm thinking I'm voting for arched, but we'll see. Yes. Okay. So this room is pretty similar to the Bromore house, which is why we love it. We love the layout, but it is a little bit bigger. The ceilings are taller, so we want to bring this room in, make it a little more cozy. What I'm thinking about in the fireplaces, y'all know I love a great fireplace, so I think we're going to completely redo the fireplace. Put some built, some sort of built-in cabinets over here, um, change the fireplace and add more, I think, marble accents to it, and then, of course, change out the lighting in here, and then maybe even change out the ceiling. So. We have a lot of plans for in here. This is the place where the living room is where you can hang out the most. So I think that's what our plan is in here. Here we've got a bedroom. Um, 
and just a closet. We, we may consider eventually vaulting this room like our other rooms. We haven't shown you much of the rooms in our other house, but we vaulted them. We think the roof line will work with that. And so eventually that may happen. That's not a high priority project, but it really makes a room feel a lot bigger when you raise the ceiling like that. Uh, you know, eventually probably some upgrades on mirrors and things, but you got a Jack and Jill here connecting a couple of rooms. Similar setup in this room as the room you just saw. Yeah, vaulting those ceilings in our, we did that in all of our guest rooms um, and kids' bedrooms at our house currently, and it has helped so much just make kind of these, um, you know, plain builder grain rooms kind of take it to the next level, so... Another small mini half bath, that'll be a good opportunity to do some creative stuff in down the road. Y'all know I love small powder baths. You guys know that wallpaper works well, so I'm really planning. This house has tons of guests, it has tons of powder bathrooms, so I'm excited to be able to have some fun little spaces to do some fun stuff with. We are currently fighting on this room. Ben wants it to be a workout room. I'm thinking like media TV. We're not really sure what we're doing with this space just yet, but it's a really pretty room. Have some really neat lights and or windows. And especially when we have our pool out there, I think the views out of this room will be really, really cool. Here's another one of those powder rooms. I told you there's several powder rooms around this house. Has the brick on the floor. We're not sure what we're gonna do about the brick but um, it's got some good character. And then another bedroom. And then back here, we've got a little bathroom too. So we love some of the tile in here already. So we've got some, a good base to work with. Okay, so next we've got the kitchen. So of course we have tons of plans for the kitchen. We don't really know what we're gonna do with the kitchen just yet, but it's already a really nice kitchen. The cabinets look really tall. It has all thermal door appliances. So I think we're most excited. I think we bought the house for this. So it has like three different um, temperature spaces that you can like customize the temperatures. So I, I think, do, don't you think we bought this, this house for this? Oh yeah, great place for Capri Suns and Coke Zeros. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then the big fridge, we love this fridge too. Um, and then we have the freezer here, so. Not a great ice maker in here, but I'm gonna show you guys a cool ice maker that we have over um, in a different part of the kitchen. But over here, if you guys come over here, one of the things that we thought was so cool and even the kids were like, whoa, when I showed them is, look at the microwave is in the island. I know this is like a really new thing that people are doing, but it's so cool how it opens and closes like that. And I wanna show the kids that they were all like, what? And then it has the Thermador range, which is, really cool we're excited about that one it's got a little grill there but um, it has a farmhouse sink and then so we're like i said before i have no idea what we're going to do in the kitchen all i know is stuff will go down in here um, it has the brick on the backsplash uh, i'm not sure if that's going to fit into our style lab like i said we're still kind of exploring where the vision for this house so the next space is the kids are in the ice maker over here. It is a, I need to figure out the brand and share with y'all. We'll share all about that. It is a Sonic ice maker and the little pellets, they're like so soft. <laughs> but back here, this is another space that we're really excited about. There's some big plans back here. Wait, did you just eat a piece of ice on video? Yeah. Um, so I think this whole space might change and be um, a, an addition to our kitchen. So this is not the pantry. We might make it into a pantry, but behind the fridge over there, we'll show you all here in a little bit. There is, actually I'll show you right now. There is a pantry over there. So we don't necessarily need a ton of pantry space, um, but uh, so I'm excited for that. But this is the pantry. We obviously need a lot of extra space. We have like, you know, you guys know I'm always trying out like five different air fryers and figuring out the best blenders and whatnot for y'all. So we have like a lot of extra stuff. So how do you turn the light on? This will be really nice. Oh yeah. So you turn the light off. It's got this little switch right here. And so when you close the door, sure. the light turns off. Show it to us. And then when you open it up, the light goes on. So I thought that was pretty cool too. So, all right. So we'll go to the master and show you guys that area. So come on back to the master. The master is something that we didn't really focus on in our house now, and so they did the vault ceilings. 
We've got the beam up top and then all of the windows and everything are really pretty. So I'm excited to get some beds in here and some different furniture. I think it's a really pretty space. And then the bathroom is really unique. One that of course, we're going to be pretty much trying to touch every area with our touch, but this is the master bathroom. It has the brick flooring, which is really cool. Like I said before, I'm not sure what we will do with that, but this will be my vanity over here. It's got the under thing. And one thing that I think, was it this one? Or this one has um, like a plug in it. Bins, uh, vanity, and then, okay. So when we were on a trip last week, we were, I was really excited because at our Airbnb, uh, they didn't have very like strong pressure for your hair in the shower and I was having a hard time getting out of all of this hair. I couldn't get the shampoo out and I noticed that they had a sprayer that um, was on a separate water source and so that's what these two are is you have a and I told them I didn't even know this house had it until last night you came over here and I was like <gasps> so excited but it has um, a separate water source and temperature from the sprayer and the shower head. So I'm really excited about that. So here's this bathroom here. Um, they've got a bidet on the toilet. We're not sure how that's gonna work out, but they were really excited about it. We're pretty sure it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> I'm not so sure. This is the closet here. This is one of the thing, probably the only thing in the whole house that we're kind of like perplexed about because at our house now we have two closets and my closet is a little smaller than this, but um, not by much. So that's just me alone. So Ben and I are gonna have to share this somehow. Mm -hmm. so, so we're thinking Ben has this, and then I get this and the rest. Yeah. So before you all say, wow, you guys are super silly, so ungrateful. This is a pretty big closet. We have yeah, nice closets at our, at our other house. We just designed it that they're separate spaces. So her mess can be closed off from my mess. Yes, he is a and, huge messy closet guy, and I and cannot with respect it. to you know what she's got, she's got about the same linear feet of sort of closet siding that she has now. It's just a different layout. So we're th I'm thinking maybe sending Ben to a, a guest closet, and then this one can be all for me. Mm. Don't you think that's a good idea? Mm. Nope. So this is the laundry room. It's a little tight. Um, I would say it's it's. Ours is probably similar, but we may have some plans to try to enlarge this, give us a little more space. So we'll see about that, but it's still a good, it's still a good laundry room. Um, and then it kind of circles all the way around into where you have um, the mudroom here. So we got some little locker spaces. And then garage is here, which is so big. We're really, I think Ben's really excited about the big garage. Yeah, we'll tell you about some things that was done there by the previous owner that uh, you should really consider in your next house. Yeah. We'll get into all of that. All right, let's take a look at the back. Here we are at the farm, the back porch. You can see pretty tall ceilings. We've got some speakers up here. We've also got, you know, some heater plugs. We've got a little gas fireplace for a TV above, power behind Stephanie. She's got uh, gas and some power over here for a grill. So, you know, a nice space. What do we do with it? There's a lot of options and things we can do, but you know, right out here, we already mentioned we'll you know, throw a pool out there here eventually, maybe sooner than later. It's gonna be unique, y'all. It is, what Ben has planned is not the regular pool. I mean, nothing is regular with Ben. It's top notch. If top you guys didn't know, self. Ben actually went to architecture school. So he is, and his job now is in design and construction. So he's got a lot of skills, really good at what he does. Yep. So, um, at least I think I am. I always say no to his ideas at first, and then I come around. So, yeah, I think, but I think that's just kind of a general rule in marriage, but certainly it isn't ours. She says no to everything first, and she eventually comes around up to just do it. This this pool, y'all. the The idea behind it is cool. I didn't. It didn't take me any time at all. Oh gosh, look at Ben. It didn't take me any time at all to come around to this pool idea. It's gonna be awesome. So one thing that I really love about this backyard is one, it's bigger than what we have now. We can add the pool and still have place for the kids to play baseball and throw the ball and whatnot. But um, around the side of the house over here, I'm excited because there is a little garden space here. So about here in Texas, it is a little hard to, uh, you know, grow anything because it is so hot, but I'm 
we'll give it a go. Backyard and the back space is really has a lot of potential. So really excited to see how that all turns out. So we are excited about this house because we started the Bromer house with building content when we were building our house. Now we're kind of going back to it and we're talking about all kinds of things like budgets, how much stuff costs. We're gonna be really open and real with you guys, take you guys along the process and um, to do all these changes. So I'm excited um, for this new adventure for us. Yeah, I mean the whole account's all about mixing high value stuff and low value stuff. And so you'll see some expensive projects. Uh, but we'll show you the decision making, the design decision making, budget decision making, but we'll also do some very attainable, affordable changes to this place that follow along with the style and uh, anybody can do. Back to the roots. <laughs>